This is Charles James with Eastern Sierra News. Before we get into the news, please like and subscribe to us. It helps us continue to provide up-to-the-minute information and news about the Eastern Sierra. Well, the Bishop City Council wants to be able to keep Bishop open and safe. So they had a few reminders they wanted to bring your way. The coronavirus COVID-19 is a concern for everyone in the world at the moment. And the city of Bishop, along with the business community, are committed to staying informed and passing along facts as they receive them. The health of our community, our children, our businesses, and our guests is paramount, says the Bishop City Council. We are encouraging responsibility and common sense from residents and guests alike. They go on to say that we are delighted that the state is now allowing outdoor playgrounds to open. The city's playgrounds are now open, including the new playground in City Park. Please observe the masking, social distancing, and time limit rules that are posted. The CDC, state, and Inyo County public health orders are in place for your safety and the safety of others. Complying with those orders is what will help keep Bishop open and safe. COVID-19 is spread mainly between people who are in close contact with each other within six feet. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, respiratory droplets can be inhaled into the lungs of those in close proximity which is why it's recommended that you wear a face mask every time you leave your home for essential activities. There's currently no vaccine for COVID-19, but there are measures that can limit the exposure to the virus. Wear a cloth mask or face cover. CDC recommends wearing cloth face coverings in public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. For example, a grocery store or in a pharmacy, in areas of significant community-based transmission. For a tutorial on how to make a mask with at-home items, visit the CDC's website on face coverings. Remember hand washing with soap and water, warm water, for at least 20 seconds is very important. But if you don't have soap and water readily available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Do not touch your face with unwashed hands. Practice social distancing and avoid contact with sick individuals. Cover your mouth with a face cover, a tissue, or with your elbow when you cough or sneeze. Disinfect services often. This includes tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, desks, phones, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks, and who knows what else. Maybe even the kitchen sink. For guidance on how to properly clean and disinfect household items, visit the CDC link on cleaning and disinfecting. City of Bishop Mayor Laura Smith says, I'm proud of the efforts of our citizens and bishop in containing the COVID-19 virus. If we all do our part by following the guidelines as described, we can continue to control the number of COVID-19 cases and the impacts on our community. Well, are you ready to go eat and go shopping safely up in Mammoth Lakes? Well, the town has some new, more flexible rules for its restaurants and retail businesses in the town of Mammoth Lakes that makes it easier for them to help you. To help retail and dining businesses operating in Mammoth Lakes during the pandemic, the town manager authorized temporary changes to the town's usual standards and requirements for outdoor dining, outdoor displays and sales, temporary signage, and outdoor seating areas. Businesses operating under these temporary rules must still comply with all applicable public health guidance and requirements from the state of California, Mono County, and the town. These temporary rules will remain in effect until April 30th, 
2021 unless they're ended earlier by the town. The Mammoth Lakes Town Council adopted a declaration of emergency on March 18th in response to COVID-19 that gave the town manager broad authority to act as the town's emergency services director. So some of the things that he came out with, the temporary rules allow for additional spacing between restaurant patrons, outdoor parking areas for use as temporary dining until the emergency order is ended, but it cannot intrude into required parking areas or block pedestrian traffic or create traffic hazards. Restrictions on temporary signage have been loosened up. The town wants to encourage businesses to advertise their businesses. Grand opening banners for newly established businesses as well as banners extended to advertise existing businesses may be allowed for a period of 30 to 90 consecutive days. Outdoor seating areas for retail businesses, temporary outdoor seating, also waiting areas, are fine as long as they do not appear with pedestrian or vehicular through fare. And it is okay to convert limited parking spaces to outdoor seating, again, waiting areas. There's a loosening of curbside pickup and delivery so to help facilitate that, they can use temporary tents or other shade coverings to provide protection from the weather and to clearly designate an area for pickup and delivery of merchandise and goods and for deliveries. There also is a rule that these temporary structures must be safe for pedestrian and vehicle traffic. And what they mean by that is one of them is to secure them to withstand the high wind events that are not all that unfrequent in Mammoth. This is Charles James with Eastern Sierra News. Please don't forget to like us and subscribe. Thanks.